I know accordion learning, accordion learning any instrument takes a lot of hard work. Yeah. But the accordion is popular. Yeah. And it, it, do you think that's more, what's the reason? Well, when the Beatles came in this country, yeah. that was in the 60s, that killed everything. Yeah, that killed, uh, you know, singing and playing it. Music that had no value whatsoever, uh -huh. but they were popular, so they got up on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do I used to do thirty five shows a week in New York. I used to go to New York three and four times a day to play different programs. Was that um, live performances, or were you? Was that radio? Life, 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 radio. I was mainly radio? I used to play for Frosini. He used to be sick every two weeks. He had trouble with his stomach or his entire blood system yeah. was all wrecked. And he'd be sick. I'd, I'd be playing John Gamble, Gamble John. Yeah. 6.30 in the morning. I would be driving over to New York parked my car right in front of 1440 there, Broadway, and nobody would touch it. Wow. See? Played with one band one night, we had 40 musicians. That's big. Three accordion players. John Gart was one of them. I forgot the others. And myself. So I got accordions. Almost every make of accordion you could think of. Do you have a Gola? No. Is a Gola one still considered one of the best? Well, best? It, you see, uh, Joseph Gola died many years ago. He used to be with Honer, and he used to advertise Honer. And he made, they had handmade reeds, and they made it, made it the Italian style, and got, got very popular. The Golden name was very popular with everybody. Yeah, because it has a, yeah. it has a, um, a reputation of, one of being one of the best. I, right. And you've played a right. Gola? Yeah. Would you consider oh, yeah. it very good? I played them all. Yeah, I had. Excelsiors, I had Wurlitzer. I, uh, Would you consider Nunzio one, uh, the Nunziola one of the best? I think it's one of the best accordions, yes. What, here, and here's a good question. What makes a good accordion, you know, a very good accordion? Well, the construction of the instrument is the touch, your keyboard and your bass. And then you got to have handmade reeds reeds that do not take too much air when you play. You see, uh, a machine-made mm -hmm. accordion, when you play it, you'll be playing t twice or maybe more as hard uh -huh. to get your notes out than a good instrument. Uh -huh. Handmade reeds are very scarce. Today, everything is by machine. They call it handmade when they tune them. See? That's not handmade, though, right? When they tune them, is it? Well, the press punches out the, the reed. Mm -hmm. This is handmade? No. No. No, it's uh, pressed mm -hmm. by machine, and then they tune it. And okay. they call it handmade, but it's not handmade. 99% of all the reeds on the accordions today are machine. They just fit it by a tuner or somebody that does repairs like mm -hmm. I'm doing. You've heard of uh, an accordion with a chamber? Yeah. Yeah, this is a chamber accordion. Okay. It's one of the best that Excelsior used to make. See? That when they were in New York, they didn't make chamber accordions. The chamber instrument came out 
later on. I, I mean, I, I like the sound of a chamber. It's, it oh, helps sure. mellows. I love it. You like that? I have a, what I'm going to play on the November 7th mm -hmm. is my own accordion. Two reeds. That's it? Yeah. Two, you mean two in a chamber or just a two reed in? Two reeds all in the chamber. Oh. That's all? It's, it's yeah, not a four bassoon, reed? The bassoon reed and the violin reed. That's different. A low and a, and a high. Are there two reeds outside? Yeah. Okay, so it's a four reed accordion. Yeah, two and two. Two. And four reeds on a bass. Okay. The normal accordion is five set, four sets and five on the bass. Four and five, they call it, see? But mine is two and four. See? Why I, I, I have it is it's light. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, you know, work hard with it. And that's an unziola? Yeah. See, I, make a, I can make a reed exactly like this here. You can make the whole reed? I mean, from just plain flat yeah. metal? Yeah, yeah. You must have all the equipment here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a lot of steel, you know. Yeah. See, the fellas like to play hard. What they do is, when, when this reed was made, the uh, concussion mm -hmm. of the machine made the reed break in the back. Okay. Why do you have so many accordions? Uh, I, you like I, to collect them or do you just like to play I them? I wish I knew why. You know? You see, uh, what happens is I used to sell a lot of new accordions. When you sell one instrument, you get three in trade. <laughs> and that's all trade-ins that bought a good instrument and they trade. I got honers, oh. I got Galicis, I got Pancaris, Sonola, you, you name them. I got 20 different brands. Which accordions have you bought that you wanted? Oh, well, I, got, I have a few left. You know, that you really my bought Nunziola. for yourself. Yeah, by Nunziola. Oh, Cintioli. Cintioli used to be a reed maker in Italy. Mm -hmm. And I did a lot of business with him. He did, then he, he and his three brothers, they used to make accordions. International. You have international? Have to look at yeah. that too. They used to be in Detroit. No. Was there much competition between accordion players? You know, well, someone trying to always be the best, trying to top someone else. You know, with this competition, I think in a lot, but no, you never no, saw much. No, no. There was enough work to go around. Yeah, everybody's had their own connections. That's what we used to call them, connections. Okay. Yeah. And uh, like Frazzini would be sick, so his wife would call me five o'clock in the morning. Charlie, please help. Fraz, she used to call him Fraz. Mm -hmm. uh, he's sick. Do the program. So I used to get get up, drive into New York, and play. We used to play six thirty to eight o'clock on WOR. Vincent Sorry, violin player. We had violin, piano, saxophone. An accordion. Was it money improv or you uh, played off of sheets? They or gave me violin music. Sometimes I get clarinet music. They didn't have the sheets, you know. Mm -hmm. But from there, you know, you, you, you make up your own arrangement. Wow. From playing. You know, you know right away, you know, you, you play certain tunes, you know what chord you got to put in there. And it would harmonize with the piano player. Yeah. Actually, let me go back to a couple of questions about the Nunziola. When did, when did you first get the idea for your own accordion? Oh. And what, and the, what did you put in it that made it special? Well, I had, I had a company 
that I was half owner, 50% owner. I had the bell accordion. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. You're, you're part owner of that. Yeah, yeah. I own 50%. Bell is so big. It's a big yeah. name. It's a good name. Yeah. And I, I sold uh, my, my share to CMI. CMI, Chicago Musical Instrument Company in Chicago. Mm -hmm. They liked what we had, the bell instrument, and they bought it. And then you you took your half and then you started yeah. your own company? They paid me, yeah. Like, how did you have it made that it was one of the best? Well, it was perfect intonation, the tuning. We, we used to go for dry tuning. Now, I've been getting a lot of calls for, they, they want the musette tuning, you know, they want to read the goes, yeah, 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 you know, like that. <laughs> yeah. I love, some songs, musettes are very good for. Yeah. Some pieces, dry, concert style is, is more appropriate. Yeah. Polish, the Polish people uh, like an accordion, like that's that's loud, you mm -hmm. know, you play, make a lot of noise. I like a dry tuned accordion. So all of your accordions only had handmade reeds or these all have hand, only handmade? Oh, yeah, they all, they all have good handmade reeds. The AAA. Yeah. Why did it ever start? We had a problem 50 years ago about the notation, how to write for the accordion. You see, in the old days, Pietro Dero had two treble clefs, right hand and left hand. Everything was written in treble clef. So he would write the music that way. Okay. Double clef, double clef. When we had our meetings, later on we voted on, we got to have bass clef. The accordion, the bass has, has to have bass notes. So if you don't have the bass clef, it's, it's not okayed by the AAA. You see? Did, was it hard to get everyone to agree to one standard? Uh, Pietro Dero was always, you know, because he was trying to, you know, entertain his business and keep it, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, everybody agreed. They're all professional players, you know. Uh, all, all the father, Magnanti, mm -hmm. Viviano, Goldberg, Goldman, and several others. Uh, they, they all used to play on CBS, NBC, and WOR. Uh huh. So, I've seen old music. Also, I've seen actually. I've ha I have seen old music that has double treble clefs. I've also seen old music that has bass and then the whole chord printed. Yeah. Well, that's Gallerini. Gallerini stuck to that. You, you really don't need it. You see, I he's a good friend of mine. Yeah. And I wouldn't criticize him, but. For the accordion, it's wrong. It's he works too hard. When he arranges a number, he puts on the full chord notation. You don't need it because the notes that come out of the accordion are not the ones that are written. Now we have just if it's a major chord, an M, capital M. We agreed on that. A small M is minor, mm -hmm. and seven for seventh, and D for diminished. That's all, you don't need a full chord. I've seen accordions that also, the bass, they've, I've seen different configurations for the bass. I've also seen augmented, one, uh, yeah, an extra, you an extra can, read. You can have with seven rows, seven augmented rows, row. Yeah, is that, but that didn't seem to catch on. Is that just, you, no. you have you, you've, I'm sure you've seen all the different types of you don't need ideas a, that have been tried. You don't need a chord with dog, dog, mm -hmm. augmented. Palmer, I think it was Palmer Hughes, came out with the 160. 
They had a couple extra rows. What happened to that? That died. Nobody bought it. It's too expensive to make. Yeah. You see? The more expensive you make the instrument, the fewer sales you'll have. The, it didn't give any advantage of playing? Having no, extra bases? No, no. no. Now you make your chords with your right hand. All you need is a bass note. That's all. What about free bass? Do you believe that you, you make use of a lot of free yeah, bass? Yeah, I got students with the free bass. What about you? Do you I used to play the free bass. You think that, that has a I place? Had, had four octaves. Yeah, I had an accordion. I got a pupil that comes almost every week. And as a matter of fact, he's going to play one number. I've forgotten the name of the 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 da 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 I made it for him. Huh. I had a dozen of them. They're all gone. That was, he bought the last instrument, five thousand dollars. That's cheap for an instrument like that. They want ten thousand dollars now in Italy if you you want something like that mm -hmm. made. How many students do you have now? Just about two or three. Oh, okay. Not two or three hundred. Nah. How many did you ever, when you were in your big, you, when you were pop, uh, back in, I when guess, When I was Newark. very big, I used to be down at the Lowry's Theater building on Broad Street in Newark. I had five teachers. Wow. Yeah. All, one fellow used to teach harmony and saxophone, and the other four was all accordion teachers. I had four accordion teachers that were busy teaching students. Were, you te were they teaching private or was it classes? You know, how you, you can teach a one big class at one time or one-on-one? One-on-one. -on -one. One -on -one. Yeah. It seems like, as when I read through the old literature, classes, they tried to create classes. Well, well they used to have little orchestras, you yeah. know, and groups playing, quartets, band arrangements, mm -hmm. see, but uh, it's not too uh, too big today. So you had four, four, five teachers working for you, and then you also taught? Yeah. And did you perform at the same time, or you were just teaching? I used to eat my supper at 11 o'clock at night, would you believe it? I was so busy, 18 hours a day I used to work for, for 50 years. 35 shows a week I used to do. Four times a, a day I used to go to New York, uh -huh. drive in and out. That was it. I tell you, being busy like that is what's kept me alive. I believe if, it. If I didn't do that, I'd be dead by now. Uh-huh. Yeah. I believe it. That's the key to life. That's Keeping right. busy. That's great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah.